Hello there, everybody. My name is Jared. Back again, bringing you guys Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea Episode 2, part number 4 here. If you guys missed the previous episodes, there's going to be annotations alongside links down in the description for you guys to go check out the last episodes if you missed them. And yeah, uh, we just talked, had some conversations with Andrew Ryan, had a little fighting with him. Uh, well, in the last part, too, we also visited Columbia. The last episode was a big episode, or excuse me, part. I mean, I don't want to get the whole episode and part thing mixed up, as this is episode two of the DLC. And, anyways, part three was a big, big part. And now I'm excited to see what's going to happen because we're about to meet up with Atlas again, and things are most likely going to go terrible. <laughs> Let's open that door. What is this? All right. There, there, there. All the load bearing columns come into this room and they meet. They meet there. I just need to place the particle in that junction, activate it, and the whole structure should rise. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I put some of this actually is going to work. We're not. We're not going to go back for anything. There's no plan B. Might as well just get it over with. Well, wait. Do I have it? How do I place it? How does this work exactly? Wait a second. Place the quantum particle. What is the quantum particle? What? What am I doing wrong? I totally forget. Is it this? I want to place it. What do I press? That's not it at all. Huh. What the heck am I doing wrong? Yeah, we have the quantum particle. What's that? Is my game broken? Okay, I look like a complete fool. Oh, wait a uh, Wait. Where could I place that? Come on. Let me do it. Oh. Oh, I st <laughs> Oh, golly. I'm sorry, guys. I look like a complete fool. Here goes nothing. Hopefully here goes this. It's working. Atlas, you feel that? Give me the girl. She means nothing to you. You've got that right. The girl means nothing. But you, love, you mean the world. Chloroform, Rick? <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Well, I'll see you guys after this loading screen. Let's do a chloroform rake. <laughs> oh no. That is terrible. What is happening? Where's the ace in the hole? What? What? Where's the ace in the hole? I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we had a deal. Where I... is the ace in the hole? I told you. I Sodium salpentol. Are you familiar? Mm. No. Truth serum. Unpredictable stuff. Too little, nothing. I have Too nothing much. to tell the you. Subject I don't even you know what an ace in the hole is. I am still playing with the dosage. This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made.
for you too. I tend to your own knitting if I were you. Now, darling, being that you were Su Chong's lab assistant and all, why not tell me where me ace in the hole went? I don't know. As I said, I'm no doctor. But that doesn't mean I don't find the field fascinating. I keep up on all the medical journals and the like. I hope you have someone to help you with all the big words. You know what part of the brain free will comes from? Stubbornness? the prefrontal lobe. Now, I think it's fair to say you're a bit of a stubborn one, are you not? A man named Steinman taught me this. He's a bit of a lunatic, but a fine surgeon. He calls this little trick a transorbital lobotomy. Take hold of her, lads. You're wasting your now, time. If you won't remain still, I can't be held responsible for what comes next. Here we go. You feel that? I'm moving the pick across your eyeball, still now, and resting it on your skull. There's about a bit over a quarter of an inch of bone between the pick and your prefrontal lobe. And that's where this little fella comes in. I don't... It was just a wee tap. But I don't expect it'll take more than a few of those to reach the meat. And then we might find you a bit less the mule. Where's me ace in the hole? I don't know. You know right. what else rests in the lobe? Creativity. Individuality. Personality. In short, what makes you, you. I'm just about through now. Last chance, pet. Where is the ace in the hole? <laughs> or what? What, you'll put a hole in my head and take away my memories? You want to make me forget all this? You want to make me not care anymore? Go ahead. You'll be doing me a favor. Oh! Bring in the monster! You're a regular hero, ain't you? Can't risk ripping the only part of you that's worth a damn. Well, there's more than one way to fry an egg. Now, little one, are you familiar with the term transorbital lobotomy? Please let her it's go. It's a simple matter. All I need to is insert this pick into please, your eye. Please, I don't know and anything. And there's a few I... taps with me. Hand. I don't know anything. Better to show by example. Please, please don't. I, I don't know anything. I don't know. Please. Tell him what I don't know. Where are we? You saw all the doors. And what's behind all the doors. The ace in the hall. It's here. Yes. But, but I don't... I don't remember this place. You've never been here. Then how would it... The memories you lost, they weren't just of the past. You saw behind all the doors. Even the ones into the future. I'm going. If you want. I... I don't like it here. It's a bad place. He's never gonna let me go, is he? Even if I bring him the ace. Then why am I here? 
How if I was so smart? If I saw so much, why just send myself to the slaughter? For Sally. No, one day he will just rip her open and tear out her atom. All of this for nothing. Why did I do it? Why? You have to decide. Decide what? To take a leap of faith. I can't tell you what you were thinking because you don't remember. But you chose to come. In that room. The Ace. I don't know what to do, Booker. I... Booker? Booker! No, please. Please just don't leave me here! Booker! Chong's clinic. That's a bit convenient now. Ryan's got every turret in the place tuned to me and me man's genetic code. We'd be torn to shreds before we got ten feet. That's right. Which is why I'm gonna do it for you. You okay with that? Get me the ace. I'll wrap the brat in a silk ribbon. Bag her and bring her to my bathosphere. <sighs> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that was fat. That, that was one of the best video game moments ever. That was, ah, I was cringing. One of the lads will show you how to get inside. <coughs> we'll be waiting for you where you come out. Shake a leg now. The Lord hates a laggard. Alrighty then. <laughs> oh, that was so good. I that's why I love Bioshock. Guys, that that was incredible. I mean I was cringing when they he kept on hitting the bit into our pad, you know what I'm talking about. That was that was absolutely madness. Ah, oh, and then Yeah. We just got interrogated, we got chloroform ragged. This has been a crazy part so far. And then we saw uh, we saw Booker in our head again. We saw Sally before she was turned into the what she is now. Man, that was I I love that. That was fan. This is this is probably the that was the best part so far in the DLC, and I'm sure it's gonna get even better. Okay. Hi. Right. Now we're back to this old dark area again, though. What is this? Prototype stage one. Oh no. Let's move you over. To, to, to figure out how to fix it. I, maybe there's some... I don't know. Is there some documentation for him around here or something? Right. Look who I'm asking. Oh, poor Big Daddy. You scare me so much, but I'll go, I'll go help fix you. Okay. <laughs> So I've heard, uh, I'll probably cut that out there in that little cutscene. I usually try to cut out my audio during cutscenes just in case there's any background noise, but yeah, my friend was calling me on the Skypes, so I might have heard a click, but I might have taken that out, so maybe not. Maybe maybe I had no idea, and I just, you didn't even, you wouldn't even know if I just mentioned it to you. What does this say? More code? Encoded. Big Daddy will not imprint. If not imprint, what good is he to little sister? She no like him. He no like her. Situation is impasse. And 
unacceptable. Huh. Well, if I'm not mistaken, there is a bit of a connection that forms back in the full game. What, what did that sign say? Or what? What did we walk by? We walked by something. I thought something we could read. What, what are we walking by? I feel like... Okay, maybe not. I don't know, I'm pretty sure we did, but whatever. Wait, did I walk by? Oh, wrong direction. Sorry, guys. Over here? Wait, what, what is this? What are we going to? Oh. If stupid beasts had a half brain, they would realize they need little sister to live. Sisters secrete only kind of atom that is genetic match for them. But no little sister, no big daddy. Huh. Well, that's where the connection is formed. Vita Chamber. What is that in your hands? Big monster snake. Big monster it's okay. Snake. It's, it's okay. Please. I, I don't know how to help him. He needs Adam. I, I don't have any of that. Big I don't know what to do. Going to die. Not fair. We can help. Help. Whoa. And that's the start of that relationship. We just... <sighs> I don't... Maybe we shouldn't have helped him. We should just let him die. Because... The big daddies are the bad guys, right? I Once again, I have no clue what, what actually happens to the main story. Hey, we have another audio diary from this guy. What's his name? Oh, Su Chong. That's for you, Kevin. Okay. In inside joke. Except I just made the joke. And he hasn't heard it yet, but he'll, he'll hear it in this video. Friend of mine. Anyways, let's read that letter. Sucho, of all the things I know, I know this. It is in your power to be a different man. What can Ryan take from us that we have not already sacrificed at the altar of discovery? They are children, little sisters, and yes, they will forget. But you and I won't. The memories of what we have done fade only with the dimming of all lights. Tenenbaum. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Alright. Those are our friends. Should be fun. Many frustrating things. I can't seem to get the damn big daddies to imprint on the little brats. Hmm. The protection bondage is just another for me. <laughs> get away. Maybe if I modify the genetic sequence to... <laughs> sure. uh, sequence to allow for... <laughs> get away, you filthy little shit! <laughs>
Dr. Rasu Chong are dead. There's the ace. That was gory. This is it. This is the ace in the hole. All the pain and all of the death for this. Could you you could could you maybe come with me? No, maybe not. What's this Vox phone doing here? Okay. So we get Su Chong. That might be the thumbnail. I don't know. I don't know. I, that, <laughs> that's one thing I think about when we're making this video is like, what should I use for the thumbnail? But, oh man. Yeah, Dr. Su Chong, you ain't no mess with no big daddy. It was like, oh, that is creepy. Those are some creepy dolls. Oh no. I don't want to be in this room. Oh, creepiness. Was that Atlas in the gang? It looks like it is. Please tell me it is. I mean, I'd like to be with them and alone. Hey, right, sister. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Alright, I got it for you. Do you have it? Yes. I have it. Give it over then. I'm keen to get this brat off my hands. You know what? Andrew Ryan said I was a rube. But he was wrong. I'm not the rube, Atlas. You are. We both know what happens next. Just get it over with. Well, love, if you insist. What is this? It's just a bunch of gibberish. What, what does this say, you little whore? Uh, hey, hey, hey! What does this say? Phrase. Now all we've got to do is get that genetic freak of nature on an airplane and raptures ours. I can see all the doors and what's behind all the doors and behind one of them Incredibly, I see him. Oh, that's what 
くでしょ悲惨で客所さ Rational Games. I love you, Rational Games. Oh, that is an ending. Not as long as I thought, but that is an ending. I love it. That is so good. That was so good. I don't. That was the craziest 40 minutes or not that quite that long of gaming ever. That was. <sighs> Rational Games, I'm gonna miss you. This was your last p project you've ever made. Ken Levine, why'd you do that to Rational Games? But this was so good, so amazing, so good. It was amazingly well put together. My rating, 10 out of 10. I, pre I don't think I've actually ever given that rating to a game, like, ever. 10 out of 10. This was so good. Definitely a lot better than Burl at Sea Episode 1. Now, just, this, yeah, this was so good. So much fun. So dark, yet so fantastic. <sighs> good job, Rational Games. Good job. Well, guys, this comes to an end of an era. An end of Rational Games and their Bioshock series. Now, Bioshock will continue on with the new developer, but I don't know if it's ever going to be like this. It could be better, but it will never be Irrational Games as Bioshock. Thank you so much, Rational Games, for your great gaming experiences. I, I, I'm going to go back and play the first one sometime and uh, to experience what I missed, but that was an amazing story. I love it so much, and it's a shame that it's over, but it, it went out with a bang. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Jared, dude. For you guys, B Bioshock Infinite, Burial at Sea, Episode 2. The very last thing coming out for Bioshock Infinite ever. This was fantastic. If you guys missed last episode, there's going to be a playlist. Alongside, alongside you guys, can check out some links. Is there going to be something after this? There might be. You ready? Yep. Oh, was this? I'm sure this is most definitely copyrighted. See the pyramids along the Nile. Watch the sun rise from a tropic isle Just remember, darling, all the while You belong to me See the marketplace in old Algiers Send me photographs and souvenirs Just remember when a dream appears You belong to me And I'll be so alone without you Maybe you'll be lonesome too and blue. Fly the ocean in a silver plane. See the jungle when it's wet with rain. Just remember till you're home again you belong to me i'll be so alone without you maybe you'll be lonesome too and blue Fly the ocean in a silver plane See the jungle when it's wet with rain 
just remember to your home again you belong to me great yeah maybe about it can i clap <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not sure if I'll be able to leave that little video in there, but that was, that, <laughs> that was an awesome song. So I guess this is the end. I'm not sure if there's going to be any sort of cutscenes. I'd assume not. But um, for the last time, over some Bioshock Infinite, guys, my name's Jerry Dude. Once again, if you guys want to check out all the other playlists, they're down in the description. And you can uh, check out the previous episodes if you've missed them. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the flipper. Goodbye.